Free diving is one of the world's deadliest extreme sports. It's very simple. The deepest dive wins. You've got to swim the length of a 70-story skyscraper. The new documentary, The Deepest Breath, offers a never-before-seen glimpse into one of the most dangerous sports in the world, professional free diving. Yeah, and Laura McGann is the film's director. She joins us live. How are you? Hey, Marcus. Hey, Robin. Thanks for having me on. Hi. So just tell people, you know, I mean, people haven't watched this yet on Netflix. I know a lot of people are talking about it, but um, can you just kind of explain to people free diving, like what the whole principle of this is? I mean, this is ridiculously dangerous, what these people are doing, right? So uh, free diving basically is you hold your breath uh, and in our film you hold your breath and you go down you, into the sea uh, down as far as you can go. Uh, it's it's They do a lot to mitigate any risk so they have a full team of safeties around them. Uh, they've medics up on the platform that you can see there and they've more medics on the on the beach so you know to do it alone would certainly be extremely dangerous um, but doing it with a team of safeties around you is um is 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 quite safe i think so the people that you focus on why do they do it well it's a really good question i think everybody's different you know if you look at any sport and you ask any athlete i think the answer is going to be different the thing about a couple of things about free diving do stand out one is and it's uh, one of our our contributors in the film christoph puts it really beautifully uh, he says that you simply you, you hold your breath you put your face in the water and all the shit from daily life just fades away um and it's that kind of that kind of uh peace and uh, Natalia Malchinov, she was a, a champion freediver. She said, it's not just a sport, it's it's a way to get to know who you are. So you're down under the in the ocean, you're holding your breath, you're surrounded by water. It's just you and yourself. There's nothing to distract you there. And you get to know yourself very well when you're down there, believe me. Uh, uh, so, so that's one of the things I believe that that uh, attracts people is that quiet. But the second thing is free fall, which happens around thirty meters, and it's basically like flying. You've got to kick down to get to thirty meters, but then once you reach that, the pressure above you, the water above you, just pu starts to push you down. Oh, you can just man. relax, and it the water will just push you down as far as you let it. Um, and you have to completely kind of keep your mind nice and clear um, and and almost like your heart rate lowers uh, to, to that like of a, of a Tibetan monk. It's very meditative. Um, and then you just have to turn around and the, the real work starts when you want to come back up. And that's like swimming against a current. Wow. And really at the core of your movie, too, are these two people, right? Um, that's what obviously the free diving is really important to this, but then really just their personalities and their story really comes out through this. Absolutely. The, the, the free diving is the backdrop. It's the world where these two people live. Uh, Stephen is an expert safety diver and Alessia is a is a champion free diver. And we watch their lives as they kind of diverge um as they come together and and then when they meet at the pinnacle of the free diving world and Stephen helps Alessia to to do amazing things and and it's it's a story of their connection and their connection with the ocean and what they go on to do together um in the in the blue hole in Dahab and how how deadly is this sport? I mean, we always hear, you know, this is dangerous. It looks like, you know, when we see those people free climbing, that looks incredible. This, there's an area where there's actually plaques on the wall to show people that... Yeah, it's in Egypt, I think, I mean, from what I remember. It, is that right? I mean, it, this is really unbelievably dangerous. So the plaques on the wall are in Egypt. Yeah, they're in Dahab. And some of them are for free divers. Some of them are, are for uh, scuba divers. Um, so like I said, it's it's if you have the right safety team around you, uh, it is possible to do it in a safe way. Um, uh, but it's it's really it, it is. A, it's a margin. There's a small margin of error at the same time. Mm. How long are they holding their breath for in some of these dives? So in those dives that you can see playing there, it can be anywhere from about three to three and a half minutes. Wow. Is kind of, if, you're, if you're going to about 100 meters and if you're an elite athlete, uh, like like some of the people in our film, um, that's how long it will take. But some people do static, uh, which is actually even harder because it's all in your mind. Static is done in a pool and you've got your face in the water <sighs> and that's it. And then oh. you just have to hold your breath. And, and uh, recently... 
I think it's a bit more now, but it was nine minutes. Oh, so unbelievable. I think that's even harder. Just do nothing and hold your breath. Unbelievable. Um, but it's a fascinating documentary, The Deepest Breath, streaming now on Netflix. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks a million, guys.